Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so so very much. So today we'll be reacting to a historical miracle in the Quran that will blow your mind. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Just a side note, the historicity of the Qur'an, the historical integrity of the Qur'an, Haman. You know who Haman is in the Qur'an? He's the minister, or one of the ministers of who? Of Fir'aun. Haman is mentioned in the Qur'an about six times. And Allah tells us about Haman, that Fir'aun commanded him to build him a tower. Fir'aun commanded him to build him a tower. Now, is there a mention of a Haman in the Bible? Sure. Is there a mention of Haman building a tower? Sure. But the Haman in the Bible didn't work for Fir'aun. He worked for another king named Xerxes in the biblical book of Esther. So the biblical uh, Catholic scholars in the 1600s who were first getting into Orientalist studies, Islamic studies, they looked this thing up in the Quran and they said, Aha! We found a mistake in the Quran. Look! They're talking about Haman working under Fir'aun while the book of Esther tells us that Haman worked under the king named Xerxes a thousand years after the Pharaoh in Babylon, not even in Egypt, and he built them a tower. You ever heard of the story, the Tower of Babylon? So they challenged the histor historical integrity of the Qur'an. Ma'adullah, they said from the disbelievers' point of view, oh, Muhammad must have plagiarized it from a priest and made a mistake because he mixed up the story of the Tower of Babel, right? And the story of Xerxes with the story of the Pharaoh and he's confused between the two of them. That's what he did. Misquotation in the Quran. What's really interesting is, in the late 1800s, the Catholic scholarship, the, the body of Catholic scholarship, unanimously denied the book of Esther as a valid source of history. They acknowledge their own book, they acknowledge that their own book, unanimously, is legend. Just stories made up, names made up. The Jewish encyclopedia even now tells you the book of Esther has no, no historical value. None whatsoever. But then it remains, this one question remains. The Quran tells us that this Quran tells Bani Israel about the things that even they disagreed in. Even they disagreed in some stuff and this Quran tells them. This speaker is giving this to you. He can't be the speaker then. There's some, this knowledge is coming from somewhere else. Now check this out. You know Maurice Bukha, a famous uh, Muslim who wrote Bible, Quran and Science? Before he got into that subject, he was a historian. He wanted to study Islamic history. When he came across this problem presented by Catholic priests, he did a little research. You see what happened in the late 1800s was, uh, the Egyptian hieroglyphics were now being revived as a language. Because hieroglyphics had died about almost 2,000 years before the Prophet Egyptian hieroglyphics had died as a language. And they were revived by German and French scholars. The study is called Egyptology. They traveled to Egypt, they studied the hieroglyphics, and they developed a scheme of you know, spelling those images and turning them into a pronounceable words and all this stuff. Okay? It started about 120, 130 years ago. So they got into this study. And they made documentations of who the ministers that are mentioned in the, the documents of the Egyptians, what their roles were, etc., etc. Maurice travels to France, goes to an Egyptologist and asks him, by the way, in your records, did you see any name Haman? And he says, well, I wouldn't know you have to go to Germany, but where did you get the name Haman? He said, well, there's a messenger, a man who claims to be a messenger, in the 7th century, who says that there was a minister of Pharaoh, whose name was what? Haman. And he built, told him to build a tower. He said, that's impossible. Nobody could have had access to any names from that time, because the language has already died at the Prophet's time for how long already? 2,000 years. So he travels to Germany to look up the names of different architects and constructors and ministers under the name, uh, under the Pharaoh, specifically under the Pharaoh at the time of historical era of Musa salam, of Moses. What does he find? Haman, minister of the stone quarries, construction. This name is discovered in the 1900s. The tau the, they actually have a statue in Austria, I believe. Haman written on it underneath, they revived it from Egypt, his name is Haman, in Austria, the statue is sitting there. Now we don't know for sure if that's the Haman of, of, of 
you know, of the Qur'an, but still the name exists. The fact that he's in charge of construction exists. And this is something they didn't have, but which speaker had? The Messenger of Allah, but actually the speaker is who then? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wow. That was beautiful, guys. Wow, who is the speaker? Who is the writer? Allah. Right? <clears throat> this was beautiful, guys. Haman. Wow, what an amazing video. And this is why God has revealed the Quran, right? Which is the truth. Right? And once you read the Quran, there is no way that you can still remain the same. Right? The way how it will transform you as how many persons, many reverse revert has said that the Quran has completely changed, transformed them their lives, right? So there is no way that you could remain the same after having contact with the Quran. Right? And this is how great and there are so many miracles and prophecy that has been taking place in the Quran, right? Prophecies are being fulfilled through the Quran even right now, right? So we're thankful for the word of God. We're thankful that God has given us his word over and over again that he'll never leave us, he'll never forsake us, right? And he said, do not be dismayed, fear not, I am with thee right so praise be to god god is to be praised anyway guys this was a beautiful story this was a beautiful video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing i love and appreciate you guys so so very much that love lead the way see you in another reaction video I wish I had a time you turn me on like a light switch